Hi, folks, and welcome to this edition of our Friday Morning Dispatches, when I look back over the week and reflect a little bit about what's been happening. And my big reflection this week is it's summer. We passed the solstice, and where I live, the warm weather's come. And summer is that time when you get up early in the morning in the cool, go for a long walk, come back, put on a great pot of coffee, sit down with a book, and begin to relax and enjoy summer. Yet at the same time this week, I'm very aware of the conversations that I've had uh, with multiple pastors who are just feeling exhausted and looking forward to a time for a break and get away, or pretty anxious about how is the future going to roll out. So there's lots of questions being going on this week with, with pastors about, you know, what do we do and don't do offline? What does hybrid going to look like? But at the same time, there have been these other conversations. Uh, earlier this week, I had the chance to go and have coffee with a friend that I hadn't seen in quite a number of years, actually. And we've known each other for 30 or more years. And just to sit down in a quiet coffee shop and catch up, to talk about how life has been unfolding for us over these years and what we've been doing while we've stayed in touch, not connected. And there was this one wonderful moment in this when Doug turned to me and said, and how is it with your soul? And that's not something a stranger would have done. It comes out of those long years of knowing each other and friendship. And I'm reminded that each week, I get on the phone, well, on Skype, actually, with another friend, with Mark, and we talk about life. And we've known each other for 25 or more years, and there's just a richness in being together and talking and being able to feel safe and to talk about who we are. I think about John, who pretty much every week we call, we talk, we laugh, and we share life. And as summer begins, and as a lot of the issues of pastors and churches and the future emerge more critically, I'm just aware and thankful for the slowing of pace that allows me to be reflective and thankful for the deep friendships that I have and have built over these years of friends who can say to me, how does it go with your keeping of the daily office? How is it with your soul? Where are you at as you pray the Lord's Prayer each day? That richness that can only come out of years of friendship is a real blessing to me as I think about this summer. And I commend that to you. As your summer begins and you think of books and coffee and doing things and laying aside anxieties, who are those friends that you can connect with and talk with and just catch up and breathe together the gift of life that God has given. Thank you. Have a great summer. We'll talk again next week.